This dump truck is in deep trouble. It's got a long way to go up and only eight roads. How about I make all these roads even length? So I gotta take this whole bridge and swing it up there, huh? Because it's a dump truck, first thing I should actually do is make the top steel. So if I attach this weird hydraulic setup, I could pull in this steel piece, which may pu pull up the whole bridge. And we'll see if this is a good start. First off, I'm not even sure if this tiny little bridge can support the dump truck's weight. Well, I guess it can, but the real strength is going to be in the hydraulics. I didn't really do any math to calculate it out. I just wanted to... I should have done some math to calculate it out. So let's just get rid of this part. If I want, I could pull it by like the most stable point, the middle. If I were to take this bridge, flip it, we can actually see where the middle point would end up. So I can actually draw a line of the distance at six meters. The one option for me is just making 12 meters of hydraulics that contract. It'll work, but at what cost? A lot of money. Not to mention, I then have to support this static middle point and really hope it doesn't budge. I'm getting dangerously close to budget here. There it goes. I want to at least run this as a proof of concept. Just to make sure I've still got my idea of how hydraulics work. Yeah, that works really, really well, actually. Now, I suppose one thing I could do is maybe get rid of some steel on the top. Not the top top, but the top of the bridge itself. I figured it'd be less of an issue because this hydraulic does work as a support itself. But now, I mean, I could probably shave $2,000 off this. I could make these pencil sports pretty thin, and then attach wood instead of steel during the short parts. I could also lower the truss here, which definitely won't ha backfire. And there we go. It's under budget. Please hold, please hold. No. Look at this monstrosity I've created. It's a half wood, half steel toothpick. I was running some simulations and noticed that the outside of the toothpick did not get as stressed as the inside. The wood is still taking the br uh, brunt of the force, but the outside is more of a stabilizer. It's still getting yellow, but that's because it's weak bitch wood. The strong dick steel still holds it up, and that was tough. And I wanted to see if this would work with the top toothpick being half wood as well, and it appears so. Just barely. I mean, this is one hell of a Frankenstein, but to me, it's easier than optimizing hydraulics. <laughs> this is so over the top, but that's the point. Next level is called Piggyback. Kind of reminds me of a custom level I made called Chauffeur. There's a very strange stunt pilot formation flying in between a bunch of hot air balloons, and somehow I gotta get these two vehicles across. So I understand that I would put the limousine on top of the bus. What I don't get, though, is how the limousine is supposed to make it back up. Wait, actually, I no, I understand it now. So, steel joints can go through vehicles for some reason, but road joints cannot. These will kind of work as a collision. Road here, and then a road here. I can make a neat little cancel, just to ensure the limo doesn't go anywhere. But I really want to hold this in place, so I think I'm even going to have a road down below, just to make sure that top part doesn't slide off or anything. And now I have to add up their combined mass to figure this out. It's 19 polygrams, plus the weight of the roads and the joints. I wonder if I can get away with just a very simple, and I mean very simple, cable under truss. So if I want to be extra sure, without having to do too much extra work, I could have a single lower point and attach more cable to those. See, when it comes to the cable tension bridges, the lower of an anchor point that you have, the better. I don't remember the exact reasons, but it does just work that way. So let's see. I am moving the limousine with. It is getting quite stressed already, and that's a shame to start with. Does it get better if I just do an instant attachment to the very bottom point? Come on, don't break my bridge. Don't break it. It's not breaking. It made it further. That's because this point's broke. I actually didn't expect this to even be breakable. Fine, I'll make you steel. And if I want to, because now it's steel, I could lower that anchor point. It would provide a lot more power. But right now, that's not needed. Let's go. Yeah, get on there, limousine. Perfect. Right to its flag. Doing this level made me want to take a look at the one custom level I made. Let me know if you guys want to see that. And if the air show wasn't enough, now I got to deal with giant blimps. Well, I got a stunt car, 15 meters per second. I assume I have to jump up there, but I can't make a sturdy ramp because these boats are in the way with their very tall sails. So it's like I got to make a double jump right here and just get rid of this wood. And this part of the jump would be held up by rope. I'd probably have to anchor it somewhere still. And let's connect it right in the middle with a good steel beam. Now, I just want to see, how does this jump actually do? God, those are huge blimps. I forgot how big the vehicles get in this game. So, it's a little low right now, but on the right track. 
I thought that I could get around this by possibly just angling my road higher, and I can. Actually, it's even facing the right direction as it falls. So I imagine I could just catch it here and chuck it into the finish line. We'll make those reinforced roads because I know it's going to be absolutely brutal. Probably cables, too, to withstand the incredible heat that this is coming at it but it doesn't need to actually have anything on the right side of the sail and the steel support we'll see if anything is needed but i'm probably gonna need to tweak that landing a lot i also gotta be aware it tilts forward a lot oh my god that was a perfect landing no something snapped it's because of the change of angle of the road wait but i still got a uh, good max stress doesn't count as braking but i kind of want it to not break so it's coming up on the landing it connects perfectly that back wheel's so good it's even fine now it's just it starts to move a little and then the cable snaps so if i have some sort of land stabilizer for the toothpick it may be able to hold in place you know let's stabilize it in multiple directions just really grip that land and does it move it still moves damn it's a wiggly wiggly boy tried adding a little friend to the muscle that stabilizes it there we go because it's a jump level, I'm not surprised people got it for cheap. But that is very satisfying to look at. And now we got a Plinko level! What, what the hell? hell? It's a pretty lucky budget. There's motorized parts. Wait, do they rotate then? Some of them rotate! Some of them are static. So if I don't touch it at all... Well, the orange car does get one star. Blue doesn't, though. It's just on the endless treadmill. What is this game? So I like that they collide in the beginning. I want to keep that. Otherwise, I'm going to have to redirect the blue car to its star. And they bounce, and it hits it. It doesn't actually get there now. It does. And blue car actually may get its second star. No, because this motor is rotating the wrong way. I noticed that this joint and this joint are both static. But it may move if, like, there's different weights attached to it so i don't know but i figure if i can just build a road to help it avoid the wrong way rotating motor all should be good come on blue car now they've hit your flag just spin down it does and actually now it's got to go all the way over to the right i gotta do something similar to this for the orange car i actually added two roads for the orange car both just gracefully sit on top of their green rotating things so hopefully it will, it doesn't even grab it. Fine, longer road. With the longer road, I can actually guide it down, have it drop, and have it go down again. So now the cars are just being led away from their flags. That shouldn't be too bad. I tweak the roads a little bit. Hopefully this somehow funnels the blue car through, even if upside down. Yeah, upside down still works. Orange car goes about where I want it to. Blue car, oh, also does. So, I mean, they don't fall in the right slot, but that's where the bridge building comes in. Because all it takes is a really simple ramp to just drop it off. And I built these ramps at the bottom. I got a little cheap because I figured they'd build up a little speed on their own and be able to just be launched into the goals. But it actually looks like that's the opposite of the case. No, blue car does what I expect. Orange car really doesn't. So I caved and built one more road like a coward. The structure is unstable, so it may have some... Ew. Fine, I will pull from both directions. There. If it's pulling both ways, it's pulling neither ways. It's definitely not going to tug of war itself apart. It actually works out really well for the orange car. Blue car is getting pushed back, but falls in. What a fun level. This really brings me back to the days of fun custom levels. It's cool they included one like this in the main campaign. Technically a bonus campaign, but it's still official. And there's still one more campaign to go through, so that's what I'm tackling now. It's called Gleam Town. And it starts off strong with a hydraulic bridge that must hang from a balloon. There are no side joints. And I gotta dip low to get this star. What the hell? And there's only four steel and a $30,000 budget. Oh, this is going to be the hard world, isn't it? I was thinking of making a bridge of two halves where they're kind of both held up by rope, but also braced against the wall. Ah, shit. I can't do it of two halves. I'm dumb. My dumbass thought I could just copy paste the left side over to the right side. Nope, I need an entirely new road that will get quite steep. Hopefully this uh, tractor has a lot of horsepower. Now I have 30 meters per second squared. Worthy of being propped up by wood. Wonder if I want to do any land supports like this. Just anchor the joint on the land because it can't go any lower. Or is I still got to spend all this money on rope? And now I got $6,000 left for a hydraulic system. So ideally, I want the gap to only be one road long. That way, it's way easier to hydraulic into place. I just realized something. This is never going to hold. 
so I shouldn't even try this concept. What I need is a more sturdy wooden structure that connects over. This way I can ensure the bridge doesn't go anywhere even before I start moving the road. I can still connect some parts with rope, but now I don't need to connect all of it. Then I could do a funny thing where I drop a road from above. Not drop, but lower it, which should be very easy to do. So all you got to do then is take a 2.5 meter hydraulic, lower it, and it'll definitely be balanced. So here's my bridge. Let's test a few things. First, does the boat destroy the bridge? It does not. It probably scrapes its sides and ruins its paint job. Second, does this click? It does. So the fact that it clicks is a good sign. I don't really expect it to go anywhere. Um, unless if it breaks, but you know, I haven't sunk yet. So breaking means nothing to me. It keeps going. Yeah, buddy. Ah, there it goes. I knew it wasn't long for this world. So this is where I can actually have the steel brace just attached to the land using four steel pieces probably will be where it needs it the most. Although I'm wondering if I need it all. I think I do. Feels like the bridge is shaking, but actually adjusting those to steel helped out a lot. I was thinking about bringing it to rope. I only needed to do that if I wanted to shave money because it feels like it's under tension. And you know what? I switched it for rope anyway, just to make sure I understand what I'm talking about. Yeah, okay. I get to prove my point. It works with rope and I save a lot of money. So I can be equally embarrassed by my leaderboard ranking. Maybe the other steel pieces can be replaced by wood and I have a woodless bridge. I'm also doing this so I have another excuse to kind of just watch this sweet bridge in action. It's a pretty unique one. You know, I, I like ones without wall braces. It's a fun gimmick. There. No longer embarrassed. This one's called Seesaw. A has to go straight, but E and C have to crisscross in locations, and I only have eight roads. So it looks like one bridge is gonna do the whole damn thing. I feel like it still should be super easy hydraulic-wise, because all I gotta do is rotate around the center point. I wagered that the level is set up perfectly for the roads to reach. I can even attach two hydraulics here. See, I feel like if one hydraulic expands and the other contracts, that creates a pivot. The only thing I'm really worried about is this actually having the strength to hold up. So I will immediately connect the tops with steel. And I think I'll make these steel because they're also a continuation of the hydraulics themselves. But actually, it shouldn't be two hydraulics on different sides. It should be two hydraulics on the same side. Yeah, one of them is expanding hydraulic, the other one's contracting. I'm gonna have to tweak the distances. But if I want the bridge to tilt down to the left, then the hydraulic length needs to increase. And then if I want it to pull all the way up to E, the length needs to decrease. So having just the expanding one active first will lower to the left. And then having them both be active for the second one will make them both shorter. I have not a doubt in my mind that this bridge is strong enough for the limo, but let's see how it moves. Oh, it buckles a little bit. So I've got to stabilize these hydraulics. If I don't want it to buckle, I guess I could just do a hydraulic diamond. It's not the diamond hydraulic that I'm used to where I want to cover extra distance. It's more like I'm just making it stable here. And does it work is the question. Oh yeah, it works. It works really well. Do we think that will work? That's a little too much. Uh, but now time for a tweaking montage. <laughs> Not the drug kind. I'm just moving around numbers on a bridge. Actually, I don't think this problem could be solved with tweaking because it moves around a little bit too much. This center point needs to be stabilized. Well, I guess I could stabilize it from the sides then. What am I worried about? That's a much cleaner rotation. Now I can properly calculate. Little tweaking later, I think I got it. The top set of hydraulics is 24%, and as you can see, results in a couple clicks. Then the top bottom two hydraulics are 18%. That results in a nice click. I also had to replace a wood for a steel, but yeah, the general design works. Now I got a level called Stunt Doubles. Two fast cars, gotta make it to the hills and jump into their flags with 22 roads. So because A2 comes behind A1, I have to make a ramp that will make them end up in different places. Just to take advantage of the fact that A2 has had a head start, it will jump further than A1. And I'm hoping that A1 just lands down below. But right now, I want to see if there's any merit to this at all. Yeah, so that gets to it. Okay, that gets to it too. Actually, this could work out really well then. Question is, can I get it done with 20 roads? I think the answer is yes. Figure that two separate catching roads would be fine, especially if I can do some steel zigzags in between them. Well, it kind of stops zigging and zagging, but it still holds. Little quick supports. Maybe reinforce up the bottom roads just in case. It's always a thing with jumps, right? Springs are an option. Do I need them? Oh, that was close. Operation, lower the roads. 
and or tilt the ramp a little higher. Because that back car comes in with some spurious speed. There we go. Yeah, all right. That is more than enough. Why do I feel like they made this level just to show off the three cards a little bit more? Well, I'm not complaining. I mean, Polybridge 3 will be hype. I hope you guys are hyped for more Polybridge in general, because I'm going to end it here. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next video. Have a wonderful day and peace.